Uh, I am now going to invite Martin Cocker, who's the director of NetSafe. We talked earlier uh, about the co-papa of NetHui, and Martin is going to talk about how that is going to be enforced. Can you please make him very welcome? Martin. Yes, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, earlier, Jordan promised that I would do a song and dance routine. Um, jazz hands and that, but I actually read the co-papa and it said that I'm supposed to be respectful. I didn't feel that my singing or dancing was respectful to your uh, particular needs. Um, as many of you know me as uh, Martin, the NetSafe guy, uh, but here uh, today I'm, I'm, I'm performing a slightly different role. Uh, you, you all know NetHui, and we've had this discussed a bit this morning, but I just cover it off again. NetHui is a special kind of event. Uh, it is not an event dominated by experts uh, out experting each other. Uh, actually, NetHui is about bringing together the perspectives of everybody uh, who works with, regulates, or uses technology. So this is one conference where you really do not have to apologise at the beginning of your statement for not being an expert in something, because not being an expert is just another perspective at a conference where all perspectives are sought. Right. So, to enable this special event to be special in the way we want it to be special, everybody needs to be committed to it. And, you know, so far we've seen significant commitment from the organisers of the conference. You know, the sponsors have kept the cost down to make it inclusive. We've got uh, text on screen so people can, can keep up with uh, fast speakers like myself. Uh, we've got, or, or people from New York, we've got... Um, uh, we've got the red dot uh, NetHui Voices uh, concept so that everybody can, you know, make sure their, their point gets uh, heard. Um, so, so what I wanted to do, just, just really you know, quickly talk about how it is that we're going to try to get the rest of us to, to do our bit. So the COPUP has been read out, I won't cover it again. Uh, the code of conduct's on the NetHui uh, website, so if you want to get into the real detail of it, then, then do so. But all we really need you to do is remember four things when you go into the workshops. Uh, and let's call these things the four pillars of a good NetHui session. And they are respect people, enable participation, stay on topic, and keep it safe. And uh, last night I tried to move those around into an acronym that would work for everybody, like ROSE or something, but I ended up changing so many words it didn't end up being the same. So what we have is we have the RISC framework. Um, think of that like RISC, but said with an Aussie accent, RISC. <laughs> so, uh, so the RISC framework uh, exists. It's the four pillars of, of what we want here, uh, and, and how it is that we're going to build the net that we want. Um, also, at this point, I would like to introduce the NetHui Standards Authority, or NSA for short. Um, think, think of them as like the Broadcasting Standards Authority, uh, but for the NetHui. Or think of us as like the National Security Agency, insofar as we share the same acronym. Uh, our role, their role, is to, uh, to ensure the NetHui is as NetHui as NetHui can be. Uh, look, I hope that you are all here for the NetHui experience, in which case this is all going to go swimmingly. Um, but the first thing you'll notice about the uh, NetHui Standards Authority is that unlike the other NSA, uh, they're very visible. So uh, you will see, <laughs> this is as visible as you can get, wasn't my choice, Andrew. Um, uh, in the sessions that you go to, there will be a team member wearing this vest. Uh, and. Um, <laughs> or they will announce themselves if they feel this clashes with their hair. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> uh, at other times, they will be in civvies, uh, and at those times, you can look out for that orange dot, uh, which means that they're an um, employee. Uh, also, unlike the other NSA, we don't have high-tech tools for scanning online content. However, we can all watch the Twitter feed. So remember, if you use the hashtag NetHui, then apply, apply the same standards that we are here. Uh, the main job of the NSA operatives in, uh, is going to each session and helping the facilitators and the mic runners. And their, their main job is to make sure that we can apply the risk framework. Now, as comical as these orange vests may be, Andrew, the, there is a serious side to what the team is doing, uh, and they have been asked to hand out spot infringement notices um, I plumped for the termination of your internet connection, but the Internet NZ team <laughs> felt that that was contrary to the uh, four pillars. So, um, I know that there's a lot of people here who really care about these topics and, uh, and that have been covered over the next few days. And we figure that most infringements are going to be accidental. So they were the product of enthusiasm rather than malice. Uh, but, for their part, the team, 
will give you a rationale and then they will give you a spot infringement uh, and that essentially tells you, please don't speak for five minutes. Um, we don't expect the team to use this very often. We, we're hoping that we won't need to use it at all, but um, we, we just expect people to be cognizant of the Copapa and this will all go, all go well. Um, if you do look closely at my badge, those of you with eagle eyesight or who are watching on the big screen and therefore don't need eagle eyesight, you'll notice I don't have an orange badge. And you'll be wondering, hmm, what is Martin's role in all this? If not, you'll now be wondering because I've prompted you to wonder that. <laughs> my, we have created a very powerful agency here, people. And therefore, I have appointed myself to be independent oversight. <laughs> so if you have any concerns or complaints about the activities of the NSA, please bring them to me. And it is very important, as we know, to uh, reinforce any enforcement regime with an education program. Therefore, on behalf of the NSA, I offer you the following tips. Sometimes it is hard to formulate a question when sh somebody shoves a microphone into your face. Or hands you the microphone. <laughs> no, it's shoving it in your face. Um, so, as a suggestion, write your question down before the microphone gets to you, and then your, your question will be well articulated and, and brief. This tip is especially for those of you who are more at home with the syntax of the programming language than the subtlety of the English language. <laughs> when you say, <laughs> the programmers are like, we'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> when you say, you are wrong, some people can interpret that as the offensive statement, you are wrong. <laughs> that is why we have the phrase, I do not share your analysis on that. <laughs> Try starting your counterpoint with, I do not share your analysis on that, and see how much better things go. <laughs> Sometimes people have had a different experience than you in the past. In this case, I would suggest using, my experience on that is different than yours, rather than, you are wrong. <laughs> or the alternative, no, 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 no. I would note that by the end of NetHui, there are usually a few exhausted hobby horses in the lobby. If you find yourself trying to find slightly different ways to repeatedly say the same thing, stop it. <laughs> Jokes, including mine, frequently go bad, especially on Twitter. Adding hashtag joke doesn't always help, especially in person. So, Please be careful with your jokes. One person's joke is another person's not joke. As I said before, if you have any queries or concerns, please bring them to me. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the conference.